Here we go. Hello, hello, Facebook friends. Marina is here. I wanted to bring you here with me. Um, I'm here in Lake Tahoe. Beautiful, beautiful land. Check this out. How amazing and quiet she is. So this lake is called the lake that mirrors um, the sky by the natives. So that's native land. And uh, it always, sure enough, reflects exactly uh, what what the sky's mood is in. So today we come here and it's beautifully and magically orchestrating as above, so below. I've got my little assistant here. Nicola is here. Hi, Nicola. <laughs> you want to say hi to Nicola? So cute. Look at that. Yeah, my little elf is here. Yeah. Are we having fun? I think so. Yeah, we are. <laughs> So we came here for a little ceremony and to say goodbye to the year, to also anchor the energy of the winter solstice uh, that was here on the 21st. And the energy is really staying here for the next three days. It's like, uh, um, like an umbrella of light, of energy that we are receiving. So just wanted to hop on here to share and send some of this light here to you. and. Uh, uh, remind us all to stay in our light, uh, clear intent, and visioning, visualizing clear uh, visions for yourselves, your tribe, your family, your work, and especially our humanity that needs us so, so much. So I uh, wanted to say hello from Mama Tao here and also want to invite you on a journey with us as uh, um, I love the visioning processes and uh, reviewing the year, especially what a year it has been, right? 2020, can you believe it? It's ending. Uh, what have you learned? Who have you become, right? So many lessons from this year that we can extract. Um, so personally, I love to also set into a uh, good uh, challenge for the beginning of the year. So I'm going to be trampolining into a uh, five-day challenge in the beginning of the year. Um, January 4th, I think, till the 9th. So I'm going to post the link underneath if you want to join us uh, for this challenge. It's going to be amazing. And the challenge is really about uh, creating your vision and making it crystal clear and inspiring and allowing that vision to call you forward, to propel you um, and investing in ourselves, right? So blessed, blessed solstice to you all make room for the energies. I know some of us are going through some turbulent times as well. Um, if you're experiencing any like anxiety, um, not sleeping well, any physical um, aches and pains, it is absolutely normal. So what happens when all this light floods in, what happens? What happens? A lot of the shadow comes out to the light. So the boogeyman is out of the closet, right? So it's normal to sometimes like we can you know, spiral into the shadow aspects of ourselves, old stories, old patterns. As this new wave of energies is coming in, it is absolutely normal to shake the old, right? To, to, for it to crumble. So don't take it personally. Don't make more layers of that story, especially, especially bring so much compassion to yourself, you know, for this whole year, for what happened, how you've been showing up, compassion is like the the balm on the heart right on our mind it's crazy so lots of compassion double dose on that um meta meditation if you want to google that but meta meditation is really really sweet is this love and kindness meditation where um you're sending little little waves of love into the world and you're also sending these waves of love to yourself right how often do we allow ourselves to bask in that um, loving awareness, right? We tend to send it out more to other people, but how often do we really, really allow ourselves to take in that love, take in that compassion that is so needed now? Um, so that's, yeah, so if you're experiencing any, any craziness, um, irregular patterns in your sleep, um, physical aches and pains, be gentle with yourself mentally, heart-wise, 
and nurture that body really, really well. So let's not forget, right? We live in this physical vehicle that carries us. I call it the meat suit sometimes. Um, but let's not forget, let's feed it well, feed it grounding uh, foods, sweet potatoes, squash, especially if you are receiving a lot of the energetic uploads, um, it can go up, up into higher chakras, the heart, the throat, the third eye and the crown. So it's really important to keep our bodies grounded. So grounded foods are awesome, physical activity, anything that grounds you, brings you back into this body, sleeping well, taking naps, right? Take good, good care of yourselves, everybody. Merry Christmas, lots of love, and uh, yeah, make room for that light, make room for the new. And uh, if you wanna join me for the five-day challenge, I'm posting the link.